we left the previous video in a state that the logs from OS query through syslogng were sent to Curator, but Curator was not ready to parse them. And we are going to add a, a, a DSM a parser for it. To do so, we're going to open a terminal. And I'm SSHing into the box now. And I'm going to go into the store temp directory where I'm going to be putting the files that we need uh, for this, right? And I'm going to use FileZilla. I have it here. Let me do a quick connect. And I'm going to put here in store temp, I'm going to put the files. Now, I'm sure that you have gone through Fix Central to get DSMs and protocols and stuff. But what you need to actually get, and I have it here on my downloads, are this is the DSM that we want to install, the DSM for OS query. This one, however, has a prerequisite, which is this protocol over here. So I'm going to um, download them both from Fix Central, and I'm going to move them using FileZilla. You use whatever mechanism you actually want to use. Uh, move them here into store temp. We don't need FileZilla anymore. And we see that uh, we should have those files here. OK, now what we are going to be doing Next is install first the protocol, and to do that we do jump dash y install, and the protocol is you do p tap was c t capital T for TCP, and we hit enter. That's going to take a minute or two. Pause in the video until then. Now let's do the same thing with the actual DSM. Tap. That was a small case O for so OS query. Hit enter, pause in the video again. So that's done. And if we go to the admin tab, it's going to ask us to deploy the changes. You can actually see the details if you want to here, but we know what it is. These are the thing that we just added. So we deploy the changes, pause in the video until it finishes. Completed. Now we need to either wait for a couple of messages to come to get auto detect uh, the traffic analysis to auto discover it, or we can add it manually. I prefer to save some time, so I'm going to my log source management app and I'm going to add that uh, in here. So it's a new log source, it's a single one, it's always query. Now we should have that because we added, yep, here is the Parser, select the protocol, the syslog. Don't get confused with that TCP multi line that it uses, but we don't have to select that. Now, name, let's call it OS query. We don't need to put anything else in here. Log source identifier. Well, that's the name, if we remember in the logs that we saw before. Let me actually bring them in here. There's, there's going to be a folder in my box link, in my box account, where you get access to it from a link on the video description of this one, where I would show you all these uh, components, actually. Right, let me actually, I have a, an OS query, and I'm going to put these files, most of them, in here. And if we take a look at the actual format, we see that the name is Ubuntu user virtual machine. That's the log source identifier. And notice we're going to be using this, this piece in here, that name between quotes, colon, and in order to search for the payload when this message comes. We are done. So we click here, finish. The disadvantage of adding the log source manually and not letting traffic analysis to search for you is that you have to deploy changes again. So let me actually do that and pause the video until it finishes. So let's actually put a filter where the payload contains that one. And then we're going to put that that we saw there, name, in order to make sure that we catch this event regardless of, you know, which uh, log source is coming from. 
with that we should be able to catch that and let me remove all these other filters that we do not need so with that we should catch those events let's actually move into the Ubuntu machine let's open a terminal here actually we're going to open two let's type here terminal let's actually start by escalating privileges and what we are going to do is we're going to start the syslog ng well, we don't need to restart, it can be start, but yeah, I have that in the history, so I start that and then I'm going to start and leave it running as a process the OS query component so this every 10 seconds is going to be uh, generating blocks and you see it working there. Now let me open another terminal and we're going to uh, add a user, right? Put this in here so we see that happening. We also escalate privileges here and we're going to add a user, add user let's say mic2 because we added mic1 before right as a password one two three four one two three four all this is good good and we'll see that that is actually uh, working and now we go here and we still have a problem with the parsing and that has to do with the format of the actual message and I have two print screens of those so the format that we have right now is the one so this is one format and this is the other one let me make sure I don't have these I think I have them I will change the labels of it so this is the legacy with the three dashes and this is the format that we want in fact let's actually go here and look at this one and I think that the legacy is the one that has the, those three dashes that that's the one right see and the new format is as we show here has to be with oh no actually yeah I'm right the legacy one has the three dashes we want to have it like this in order to make that change in syslog and g and forgive me for talking so much about syslog and g but probably I should have used uh, the, the curator disconnected log connector we can also pass uh, files around but I hear that a lot of people use uh, this, this tool so in order to make that change let me show you what is what we have to do in one of the configurations files so we need to modify the config file that now as you re remember in video number two is now being pulled from the syslog ng directory so we do vim uh, etc syslog ng and uh, config d os query dot conf let's do an insert here and what we need to change is here instead of the word syslog we need to put here network actually do that and save it let me stop this syslog ng here control c let me again restart the syslog ng and let's launch this process and leave it running Let's actually give it another shot with uh, adding user mic3 this time add user mic3 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 all this is good and we see you know this thing kicking and getting an action let's return to the event list here let me actually play that 
me go back in the last five minutes because I have that uh, pause. Actually, I was I went back five minutes again, and I and I actually see the actual ad user. Actually, take a look at it, and we should see here mic three. Here we have it. Okay, now. Inadvertently, we have created a small problem, which is that we need to we, we suppress the recipient of the standard Linux logs. In order to fix that, first let me prove to you that that is the case. I put this filter, and this is the name of the machine, and these are the Linux uh, f logs that we were getting, and when I go back uh, can go even 30 minutes ago uh, we don't see any messages right I rebooted the machines today to continue doing the this recording so that is not there now let me show you how we fix this quickly to make sure that we get both the standard Linux messages as well as the OS query one so I'm gonna edit the syslogng configuration file Uh, this file. So I'm going to find the d underscore net, and this should be commented correct. Let me do insert. I'm going to remove that to, and I'm going to put the characteristics of the curator machine, the console 172.16.60.10. Port is 514. And let me make this buffer 10 times bigger. So we go to the bottom of the file, Shift G. Oh, sorry. Escape. Shift G, I believe it was. Yeah. Well, first of all, actually, it's good that we pointed here. Notice that in here we are pulling the definition. In fact, any definition, or it's asterisk.conf, and this is pulling the OS query definition, right? And so, what we need to do is add in here, let me go back to insert, go here, and gonna add a line, actually, edit paste. Let me fix that. this is what we want to add that's all we do escape column right and quit and we need to bounce this guy so control c to stop the running process restart the syslog ng and we have errors in here uh -huh. if you get errors there is a command that helps you figure out what those errors are this command in here. Actually, I put it into a text file into the box folder as well. This is going to allow me to see what is it that I did wrong in that configuration file. Actually, the problem is that I also need to modify the OS query config file because it's been pulled in here and there's a conflict with the name uh, D underscore TCP. So let me actually do Vim etc syslog ng conf d and it's os query config. So what we need to do here is delete all this section that is in here, correct? Yeah. We don't need any of that because that conflicts with the definition that were in the other file once they get pulled down. And we need to modify this one in here. It's not D underscore TCP, but it's actually we put D underscore net. Escape, write, quit. 
let's actually see if we can restart syslog ng without a problem and that did it now let's run the OS query and leave it running in the background and let's actually add I think that we were mic 3 let's add mic 4 and test this out and see if we get messages from both so add user mic 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 all is good Okay, let's see if we get new messages in Curator. Sorry, I was a little impatient, and here we have them. These are the Linux messages coming. Let's actually user account added. Let's actually open this one. Should be Mike Four. Mike Four, it is. Yeah, so we're good there. Now let's actually go back here and add another filter sorry for making this video so long but I hope that you learn as much as we did with this uh, let's do log source index equal uh, OS query and let's remove the other filter and here we have them and if you really want to have them both search for both messages well the logical thing is to do an, an or in the search so let's actually do it in here log source index let's put uh, and then in here this is equal any of this is equivalent to an or and put os query add it here and also we're going to put linux ubuntu linux Ubuntu virtual we click plus we have both conditions we add the filter and if we go back in last let's go 15 minutes or so well we should see the Linux one that we saw before again um, this video is already way too long but we saw the the events before I might be doing something wrong on the search here oh I have I need to clear this filter that's what it is so we see the OS query as well as the Linux server so we have reached a point in which we get all those nice logs coming into Curator the next video is going to be about adding packages that give us the rules that will fire when these use cases happen